former Buckeye, Super Bowl champion, current Packers linebacker, A.J. Hawk. A.J., good to talk to you. Hey, thanks for having me. It's been quite a uh, 12 months for you, man, because about one year ago at this time, the future was sort of uncertain, maybe on the outs a little bit. All of a sudden, some guys go down. You win the Super Bowl. You're undefeated again, and, and your team is God's creation of football. Talk about the last 12 months. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely been a unique unique 12 months, I guess. Um, you know, just like anything else in any, anyone else's life, there's there's adversity thrown at you, and, you know, me personally and as a team. But, um, you know, I think that's kind of what we proved last year as a team here at the Packers, that, that we weren't going to kind of – fold in you know I think we had 15 guys on injury reserve and, and we found a way to come together and, and win it all and you know we we got right back at it this year and you know we're happy to be 4-0 but you know I think we uh we expected that we we wanted to do that and we're not surprised by that and we want to make sure we keep it rolling well you look at last season and you guys qualify for the playoffs for beat by beating Chicago you go on the road for every game and, and win the Super Bowl now the target's on your back do you guys approach the season the same way or do you kick it up a notch knowing that the target's there uh, I mean yeah we we had that we talked about that earlier coming into training camp that you know you know being a defending champ you you know everyone you're going to get everyone's best shot but I think we we like it that way and we want it we wanted to be like that, so I think winning the Super Bowl for us, going into each game this year, we know each game is is big for for both sides. But you know, I think we have more motivation and more drive because we've been there. You know, we were just there a little bit ago. It seems like in Dallas, winning the Super Bowl, holding the trophy, and we want to we want to get back there and do it again. So I think our drive and everything is kicked up a notch. Former Buckeye, current Packers linebacker AJ Hawk joining us here on the fan. We were talking about this with the Buckeye defense the other day, where the Buckeye defense feels like they almost have to be perfect because they can't rely on the offense to do anything. In in your case, do you guys feel extra comfortable out there playing defense because you know that, hey, even if we make a mistake, we've got our offense out there that can drop 40 quickly on anybody in the league? Yeah, I mean, we definitely feel feel good about where our offense is and how many points they put up, but – you know we don't we don't want to be the weak link as a defense. I think we don't want them to have to put up forty to win. We want we feel like if they give us seven, then we should have a good chance of winning. And we need to find a way to get back to that. I think uh, as a defense here, we've just given up a little too many big plays and and uh, too many points to so far this year. But you know we found a way to to make it to four and zero oh and and uh, and hopefully we're 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 only getting better. I think we I think everyone around here knows that that we haven't played our best football yet. We definitely haven't peaked by any means, and we. Uh, you know, we're looking forward to the rest of the year. Yeah, but would it be fair to say with your defense is maybe the rank isn't where you want it to be, but you guys are, you know, getting ahead on teams. You got such a high powered offense, teams are forced to throw and go downfield against you guys. Yeah, I mean I think numbers are always deceiving. I haven't really looked at anything with where our defense stacks up against other defenses, but you know, cuz for us the only number that matters is wins and losses, but for us, we we just want to. We don't want to. I think a lot of times people can get too caught up into how many yards you give up and passing yards and rushing yards and everything. All we care about as a defense is is points. We don't want to give up a bunch of points, and we feel like we've given up too many points already this year. But but we're trending in the right direction, I think, and we're uh, we're we're getting better. So we uh, we feel like we can get back to that like we were last year when we were holding teams to you know, 17 and under a lot of times. And if we do that with our offense, we're, we'll be in good shape. Former Buckeye A.J. Hawk joining us here on The Fan. I made the comment a couple weeks ago that I think 400 yards passing in a game is the equivalent of, the new, of, of 300 yards passing. Every single rule has been favored towards the offense in the last 20 years that the NFL has made. As a defensive player, do you guys sit around and talk about that? Like, hey, these guys, I know that offense sells tickets and it's, it's better for television – but they're almost making our jobs impossible to do. Um, yeah, we don't try. To, we try not to, to, I guess, dwell on it too much. But we're we're aware of that for sure. Um, <clears throat> as a defensive guy, we know, like you said, I, I like that comparison. They said 400 is is basically the you know like 300 a couple years ago. Um, I you know it, it's something that you can't sit here and worry about and complain about. But yeah, we we understand that, like you said, you know this game when it comes down to it people need to make money and the people making money are the ones you know the ones running the show and carrying it on tv and they drives the rules and everything so they want to see some points put up so as a defense it makes our job tougher of course um you know we can't we can't go near a, a guy that that seems to be running around or, or going for a ball and we know that it's always going to go to the offense but 
we accept that, and we just have to find a way around it and find a way to be better. All right, it's a day that ends with a Y, so that means Brett Favre's going to say anything in his latest thing. He's talking about he's surprised Aaron Rodgers didn't win a Super Bowl quicker. Is he just become laughable in the in the locker room for you guys? Uh, I mean, I I think. You know, not many, there's not many guys around here that played with Brett that are still in the locker room. I, got, I played two years with him, so I've, I was around him enough. So I don't think it, he's brought up a whole lot, um, you know, regardless of what he – if he's, you know, commenting on Aaron or anything else going on with our team. You know, a lot of these guys – we have a lot of 22-, 23-year-old guys that, that have heard of Brett Favre, but they, didn't, they never played with him. So he, he's not uh, – he's really, uh, you know, not brought up too much, I guess, in our locker room. Former Buckeye A.J. Hawk, current Packers linebacker, joining us here on The Fan. you got the Falcons this week on Sunday night. Explain to me one of the greatest mysteries of all time. Michael Turner, who I have the utmost respect for, but he's kind of fat, and he kind of looks like me, and he's not really fast, and yet he led the league in rushing yards last year, and he has put up a fantastic career. What makes this guy so difficult to bring down? Well, I mean, Michael Turner is he is uh, he's tough to bring down. I mean, uh, I think his, if you would just look at him, look how he's built. I have no idea. He might be, what, 5'8", five, 5'9", five, however much he weighs, but his lower body is so big and so powerful that there's no real easy way to get him down. You know, a lot of big guys, if they're a big, tall running back, you can chop his legs out, out from under him and, and get him down. Or if he's usually a small guy, you can you can take him on however, and as long as you get a hand on him, you'll pull him down. But with, with Michael Turner, there's no easy way because if you try to chop his legs out, they're so strong, he's going to be running right through you. If you try to take him up up top, it's uh, it's also tough because his low center of gravity. So he he's real patient as well. He uh, he seems to just let everything develop and then bam gets downhill. And once he gets going downhill, it's pretty stuff pretty tough to stop him. Hey, your your buddy Bobby Carpenter is a friend of the program. We had him on earlier this week. Have the Lions replaced the Bears as the main competition in the division for you guys? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we haven't played them yet this year, so. You never know. I mean, obviously our rivalry with the Bears is always there, but you know the Lions have started off strong, man. They're they're four and zero, so they're proving that that they're uh, they're for real, and they want everyone to know that, I guess. So we'll see. The fun thing is that we get to we get to match up with them twice this year, and I'm I'm really looking forward to that. AJ, good luck this week against the Falcons. We'll talk again soon. We always appreciate it. All right, thanks for having me, AJ Hawk, former Buckeye, current Packers linebacker, joining us here on the Fan.